What's up guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. I've seen all your comments. When's the, when's the YouTube channel coming? When are you gonna post your first video? So here we are. And uh, today I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of this beautiful custom home. But before we do that, I have the entire process, everything from the first shovel hitting the ground to uh, all the progress we've made till today. So let's take you guys through the process. Every custom home starts with a solid foundation. It's the most crucial step in the process. Doing it right is everything. The reason I say that is because if you get something wrong at this stage, there can be so many delays. Every step in the process is crucial, but getting the foundation done quick and correctly is usually the most important thing in delivering a custom home on schedule. One of the coolest features about this lot is the beautiful ravine in the back. And there's actually a river that runs through that ravine as well. Once we get past the foundation stage, things start moving pretty quickly. The framers waste no time in getting the structure up. And let me tell you, seeing those walls go up is like watching a masterpiece come to life. You start to see the layout, the flow of the rooms and start to envision the space. Having good tradesmen and just a solid team in general is so important in making sure that things move smoothly. There's a lot of things we can do in-house, but you know what they say, a jack of all trades is a master of none. Another really cool thing about our custom homes are the concrete finishes. Most builders would just opt for a cheap, basic finish on your porch and steps to save cost. But as a homeowner, you're going to end up spending double if you do decide to upgrade these same areas later on. If you guys have been following our page, you know that we're experts in decorative concrete. In this custom home, attention to detail was paramount, especially when it came to the concrete work. Stamped concrete was the material of choice for every surface, from the expansive balcony to the practical walkout steps, providing easy access to the outdoor space. Even the charming porch and any additional steps needed around the property were expertly finished with stamped concrete, adding not only visual appeal, but also longevity to these areas. The framers are now working their way up to getting that second level floor ready. So they're getting their scaffolding up, they're putting in all the supports, the joists, everything they need to move up to the next level. I think of the framing stage as giant puzzle pieces coming together to create the skeleton of your dream home. It's the stage where blueprints transform into three dimensional marvels. With each nail hammered and each wall erected, you can just feel the excitement building. Framing also sets the stage for architectural wonders, from soaring ceilings to intricate designs. It's where the magic happens, where a mere structure begins to take on the character and charm of a home. As you witness this stage unfold, you'll truly start to appreciate the artistry and expertise required to turn a pile of wood into a functional home. So you could see the opening for the front door now, and just by looking at that, you can already tell it's going to be a massive door. We wanted to build this house right at the back of the property, which I think really gives it a nice luxury feeling because you're going to have a nice long driveway leading up to this gigantic mansion. So it'll all look really cool in the end. This roof is a true work of art from the clever cutouts, to the graceful peaks. Every detail was carefully thought about to elevate this home to the next level of luxury. So once we're done with our structural framing, it's time to move on to our exterior finishing stage. This is the exciting phase where the outer shell of the home starts to take shape, bringing together materials that not only protect, but also make the home look stunning. It's all about creating a visually appealing and captivating residence that catches the eye and leaves a lasting impression. In this custom home, we've decked out the whole exterior with precast. It's got this lovely pinkish tone that just makes the house pop. And the best part is there are no visible seams or joints anywhere. It's like the house was poured out of a giant mold, giving it this smooth, flawless look. We went with a gorgeous dark brown metal roof to contrast the precast. They go so well together, and I think we made all the right decisions for this luxury home. I'm curious to know what you guys would have done differently, so be sure to let us know in the comments section. So let's take you guys on a little tour of the inside now. As soon as you enter the front door, you're met with this grand foyer, and the entire section is open from the ground floor all the way up to the ceiling. Making it past our stairs, we have our family room. Beautiful big windows, letting in tons of natural sunlight. Nice and open concept. The entire house is very open concept. You won't see a lot of doors and rooms separating the space. 
So this is actually our kitchen and you can see the ceiling design. So every room's gonna have its own unique ceiling design. So you could even see here how cool the ceilings look. That's actually our skylight. So another really cool feature about this home, every single floor in the house is heated. So we got in-floor heating in the basement, on the main floor, in the garage, in the walkout basement. <laughs> so your feet are gonna be nice and warm all the time. For all my chefs out there, you're gonna love this kitchen. Um, got a nice big island in the middle there. Um, top of the line appliances, all that. But this kitchen is just gonna be for show because back here, we have a spice kitchen. So you're gonna be doing all your cooking in here, um, away from the main area. You know, you don't want the, the smell going everywhere. You can see they're framing up the fireplace. We'll have the TV mounted somewhere there. You know, have to throw in some nice sofas and all that. And then you can truly start to envision the space. I promise you it'll be one of the best, uh, best custom homes once we're done here. Continuing on to the left wing of the house. This is the living room. We've got a nice powder room here. Here, this is the office. And again, you can see the ceiling. Really makes the room exciting and fun. We got one of the side entrances here. And the master bedroom. So there's two master bedrooms. One on the, the main floor and one on the second floor. And every room has its own walk-in closet and washroom. When you have a house this big, it doesn't really make sense. You know, sharing the washrooms. Might as well design to your family's needs. Cool feature for all my pet lovers. Uh, the owner actually has a golden doodle and they requested a little pet bathing station, a little shower area for their pet. So I thought that's really cool. So this is how things look from the second floor. Like I said, the entire uh, section is open from the ground floor all the way up to the ceiling. So you'll be able to stand right here and say hi to the person down there. Another really cool feature about the home is our client decided to add a laundry on the second level. So you can take your dirty clothes straight from the, your bedroom right to the laundry. This is actually our master bedroom. Again, you got the beautiful ceilings. And my favorite thing about this room is this walk-in closet. <laughs> it is a massive, massive closet. And I know all the ladies would love that. And of course, the master bedroom will have its own master washroom. So most of the bedrooms actually have their own balcony. I won't take you guys out there because it doesn't really have the safety railings, but I'll show you from here. And like I mentioned, it's a ravine lot, so you got a nice view to the back once uh, spring comes around. You know, you got the trees uh, nice and green. Some rooms will have a front balcony. So this is the view from the front. And this will look really cool once all the landscaping, you know, all, everything's done. So all in all, we got about six bedrooms on the second level. So we could have easily fit eight, maybe nine, 10 bedrooms on the second level, but we built this house according to the client's needs. What's the point of having eight, nine, 10 bedrooms if you only need six? So we got our garage here, nice five car garage. And we went with the beautiful stamped finish. And like I said earlier, these floors are actually heated. The reason for that is, the, there are two bedrooms above the garage, so it'll help with better insulation. And even from a comfort standpoint, your garage will always be nice and warm. On top of that, it's just such a big flex. Imagine the guests coming over and you let them know, hey man, even my garage floors are heated. Last thing I have left to show you guys on the interior is the basement. Um, very bare bones right now, but once the drywall goes up and everything starts coming together, it'll look really cool. Again, it's very open concept. There's gonna be a bar, uh, bar kitchen area right here. This is gonna be the games room. You can have a nice TV over here. And the basement actually has a walkout going straight uh, to the backyard. So we're now outside in the backyard. I just wanted to give you guys a look of the precast up close. I mean, it's like this pinkish color, just straight lines going through. It looks really, really cool. It's very different. So another cool feature about the basement, it's gonna have a nice gym room. So we'll have a nice uh, glass panel over here to give it that gym feeling. And there'll be a sauna room. And this is actually the guest bedroom back here. 
I hope you guys enjoyed getting a glimpse into the process of a custom home. This is just the beginning. Stay tuned for more exciting content coming your way, especially as spring approaches. We'll be diving into our concrete projects and sharing even more behind the scenes action. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.